Hey guys, it's Jay Rastic, and uh, sure enough, this morning I go ahead and turn on my PZ, and we got an update, which is great. Um, but before we go into that, I definitely want to apologize uh, for my previous video. Uh, the thumb I was half awake when I posted that video, and didn't realize that in the thumbnail I put 1.5 DLC hack um, instead of 1.5 update hack. And some people brought that to my attention, so I apologize, everyone. Um, I did update the thumbnail and update the description of, with the public apology on that. It was not my intent at all whatsoever to go ahead and uh, put out some misinformation out there. Um, that, again, it was not my intent. So I apologize uh, to anyone that I may have uh, upset um, about that. But uh, after all, I'm only human, and uh, it was way past my bedtime. So um, hopefully um, you can all forgive me for everyone that has followed me and whatnot. Um, however, on the plus side, that video has had a ton of views. Um, but moving forward, um, Planet Zoo Update 1.5.1 available. And the uh, and, uh, release goes as this. Hey, oh, zookeepers, thank you all for sharing your feedback since the launch update 1.5 in southeast asia animal pack it's been wonderful to see everyone get to know these incredible new creatures the team has been busy addressing various bugs and issues to make your experience even better which leads to today's news update 1.5.1 is now available take a look at the new update notes below uh so we have uh, <clears throat> excuse me we have a uh, 1.5 uh up general bug fixes and improvements which looks awesome um and uh, uh looks like they fixed a number of animal issues where the bintron would become mishap uh happen uh they fixed the dark visual on the issues on the side of the bintron nose uh looks like they fixed some issues with the animals jumping into water where they would teleport to the water surface uh fixed an issue where the female bintron would not interact with the tree forager food enrichment um, they fix the dull tongue being detached from the mouth before a uh, fight animation begins. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> um, they fix a, a small number of animations issues with the clouded uh, leopard using the hammock. Uh, increase the uh, uh, gharial's uh, deep swimming speed lightly. So they must have, must have been a little too slow. Uh, fix the animal issue where animals can jerk when jumping. Don't jerk and jump. It's not good to jerk and jump. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Fix an issue where animals would rotate in the air while jumping. Uh, Fix an issue where the Mal uh, Malayan tapir, proboscis monkey, and barbusa could spawn without proper textures. Oh, that would be interesting to see. Oh, here we go. Scenery. They added four new billboard assets with added for more custom ability to in your zoos. A 1.1 meter lit version and a second panel or a screen panel, uh, two meter by two meter. Um, nice. Uh, they also added a new Barbuso uh, animal sign for the Southeast Asia pack owners, which why they didn't have that ready for the actual DLC, I don't know, but uh, at least they fixed the Barbuso or the uh, uh, Bintarong, um before that came out, so that was nice. Um, uh, fixed education speaker showing an override texture option. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, game mode. Uh, sa fix an, uh, sandbox. They fix an issue where animals are still becoming pregnant if they aging and birth was disabled in the sandbox setting. I was wondering. I kept on thinking. I'm like, I swore I disabled the, the, uh, baby one. And I still was getting babies. Um, but it never made a big dish issue to me. Uh, fix a small number of uh, geometric issues in the following scenarios. Uh, reward statues. Uh, Boner and orangutan, giant panda, Indian rhinoceros, Japanese macaw, lion, and cyber tiger. Uh, fix the keeper not accessing the underwater feeder in certain circumstances. Uh, they also fixed issues when an animal talk point gives out a notification that is not accessible when it actually is. Uh, UI, the, they uh, added a guest spawner to the help sub-menu. Um, and then, of course, miscellaneous, replaced the old Bintrong icons with new updated versions, added new icons for maturation and 
con conception and timeline. Fix flexi color palette, uh, resetting to red when selecting any shades of pure gray. Uh, fixed information boards, custom tab, having very little space when adding custom media due to the requirement text window below. So, does that mean that they actually made it bigger? Uh, stability, they made some general uh, crash fixes. And uh, general performance tweaks and optimizations. Uh, please continue to share your feedback with us on the forums on the issue tracker and we can't wait to see more of your creations awesome so there we go we have a 1.5 update which uh, mine is doing right now but the screens is what I like uh, four new billboards assets were were um, added so and I like the billboards I really do so I think that's gonna be really really cool so all right well i'm going to be uh finishing up on a video on how to make that extra wide billboard um that you saw that you may have seen in the previous video so uh in the meantime uh go ahead and don't forget to uh, of course like this video if you like it if you want more of it um uh also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and of course put a comment down below and tell me what you like or what you don't like if you hate me if you love me whatever it doesn't matter um or if you just want to make a shout out of how much you love planet zoo um or even pk or jurassic world evolution i don't care whatever you want so <laughs> i just want to see what you guys want to see or uh, uh so i want to know what you guys want to see so then um i can get the, the right content out for you guys so thanks again so much for watching i hope you all have a blessed morning or evening or night or wherever you are in the world uh again my name is jay rasic uh so till next time Build, play, and enjoy. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this video? It would really mean a lot to me if you smash that like button to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon for future video contents and notifications of uploads. Also, leave a comment below on what you like about this video and what you'd like to see in the series. You can follow me on Steam, Twitch, and Discord. Till next time. Build, play, and enjoy.